Is Sony's entry-level 85mm lens still good enough in 2023? This lens is six years old and does it need an update? Oh, anyone still there? Yeah, it's, it's been a little while um, <laughs> since I made my last video. And as you can tell, I'm still out traveling. I'm currently in New Zealand. We are at our campsite. We're driving around New Zealand in a little camper van. Can't even call it a camper van. It's basically just a car uh, and exploring this amazing country. And it has been absolutely awesome so far. Uh, we've been here for just over a week and already seen number of waterfalls, beaches, mountains, and it's been incredible. Uh, and I can't wait to see what else we get up to. As we've got a nice afternoon at this campsite, I'd uh, talk a little bit about this lens. This is the Sony 85mm f1.8 lens. It's their base entry level 85mm lens. Everyone loves 85mm lenses, and this is the cheapest way to get into it. And to be honest, it's a really good lens, but a lot of time has passed since it came out, and is it still holding up to its own? Now, I don't need to go into the technical specs of this lens because there's already many, many videos out there about that. I'll just do a very quick summary. 85 millimeter lens, minimum aperture of f1.8, 67 millimeter thread, it's got a custom button, AF MF switch, and it's under 400 pounds at the moment. That's British pounds. Now, before we get onto my thoughts about whether this needs an upgrade, let's just talk about its current performance. Let's talk about photo performance. I've been really happy with the photos I've been able to take on the 85 millimeter lens. It's a brilliant focal length for so many different things. I've never been someone that has designated focal lengths to certain types of photography. However, this for portraiture is absolutely fantastic. You get that lovely compression, a nice blurry bokeh background as we all uh, look for in our portraits. And this can really deliver that. Even at f1.8, it's shallow enough to give you a beautiful background image. And with that shallow aperture, is a brilliant lens in nighttime scenarios. It allows you to take beautiful images out in nighttime scenarios. I've really enjoyed using this for nighttime photography. Now, video on this lens is one that I have got kind of my pro more pros and cons to than anything else. Firstly, I really love the look of this. 85 millimeters is a fantastic kind of B-roll lens as such. It's great for being able to capture those kind of cinematic sequences because it gives you a nice layer of compression, which everyone loves. Again, that blurry background that just creates this cinematic effect um, that everyone really looks for and desires. It produces video with beautiful color and contrast, and I really like the video quality as such that comes out of this lens. One thing that is less to be desired with this is that it doesn't have an aperture ring of any type, um, and that means that you can't really do any aperture pulls or anything like that. Um, you have to just use the one on the camera and it does have an electronic focus pull So if you are looking to do those focus pulls, they are a tiny bit more complicated uh, Because you have that electronic system rather than a manual one And one thing that affects both photos and videos is the autofocus system of this lens and this is a six-year-old lens So as can be expected the autofocus system isn't as up-to-date as the ones that we're getting in the latest Sony lenses. Uh, and it is noticeable in some scenarios. For like nine out of 10 scenarios, this lens is perfectly capable um, and will spot focus nice and quick, nice and sharp. However, there are some scenarios where it will struggle in certain kind of very high contrast scenarios and it can struggle at night. I, I said I enjoyed using this lens at night, but I haven't always been able to rely on the autofocus at night. Is it time for an upgrade for this lens? It came out six years ago. The whole industry as a whole has gone so, so far and technology has come such a long way in that time. 
and it's going to continue at that rate for a while. Well, in my opinion, I think it's probably reaching that point where it does need an upgrade for a few reasons. Firstly, that autofocus system. I'd like to see it upgraded and improved to one that can just keep up. It just needs that latest Sony autofocusing system that the other Sony lenses that we're seeing at the moment are coming out with. That would definitely improve and kind of future-proof this lens uh, for the foreseeable. One thing that this lens doesn't have and many lenses in this category don't is weather sealing and it's one thing i will passionately stand by and say that all lenses should have since so i want to be able to trust my equipment and make sure that i'm not going to have any problems with it that being said i haven't had any problems with it but that could just be because i've got lucky uh, and this doesn't really have a significant weather sealing gasket or really any one at all <laughs> We're now seeing more and more people shooting video, hence the rise of Instagram Reels, TikToks and all that stuff. And it'd be nice to see some more video features included on a future version of this lens, such as an aperture ring. That would be a huge upgrade for me personally, one that can be de-clicked, much like is on the 20mm uh, f1.8 as well. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's there for those who do want it. And I think for those video shooters, that is a big pro. One of the things that I love about this lens is that it's really small and compact and you can take it around. And to be honest, it's really not that heavy. It's built really well. You've got metal materials used all the way around. And that'd be one thing I'd love to see on the future version. Make sure it keeps that same level of build quality and that weight. If possible, keeping it nice and lightweight, nice and small and compact, because this has been brilliant to be able to walk around with uh, when I've been traveling. It's really discreet and I can get some great shots. My final point, which would be a dream, and if it's possible, that'd be great, is to make sure it maintains the same low price. This lens has been a very affordable option for many people getting into photography, and it's important to keep those options budget. If it does mean binning off a couple of those features that I've said, then maybe that's okay. Uh, to make sure that there is still an entry-level option for people getting into photography. And down in the comments, let me know your thoughts on what you think. Am I completely out of my mind? Six years for a lens isn't that long. Should we be seeing an upgrade in a few more years time? Um, and what are your thoughts on this lens? Do you love it? I bet some of you have got this in your bag. If you did enjoy this video, you found it useful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, I really appreciate it. Join the community, subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you along for the ride. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine. Uh, I hope you all have a great day.